I have two entire different Minecraft worlds, and I want to combine them today around this center lake, making an epic lake, and I'm even going to raise the water level of it. This isn't necessarily a tutorial, as much as the steps I went through to complete this task. So let's get into it. So using this really cool tool called MCA Selector, this is an overview of my world, and I've gone ahead and highlighted everything in orange, everything in my world I don't care about. I'm going to go ahead and even trim it down just this much more. And just like that, for now, that's everything that I don't care about this world. But now what I can do is I can go ahead and open up another instance. This is the other world that I actually do care about. And right here is the general area where that entire other world is going to go. So I'm going to take this world and copy all the chunks with something in it. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. As random as this is, I'm just going to shove it right here in the middle of nowhere on this other world. That gave me an overall layout of what this world is going to look like that I've chosen to copy. Because I didn't exactly have this fully planned out. I didn't know which direction this wanted to face. And I really haven't found a rotate option, per se, that I could use for this project. So, however it pace itself in is kind of what I have to go with. So if we take a look, this is the pond area. Right now it's connected to this huge out part of the ocean but I want to close it off about right about there. Right over here, I think, maybe this kind of ocean area of this land. And that's how they're going to go together. That was a beautiful mountain that they had generated for us there, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it just to clear up the space. And I want as much of this land to carry over as possible, so I'm going to delete some surrounding ocean to try and get more land. Anything I do not care about in this world, any square inch that I have never touched is going bye-bye. And that left me with this really obscure shape to work with, but it'll work. And I'm going to try and get it as close to what I already have as possible. Even some parts already trying to overlap and touch. My two worlds, the two biggest worlds I have, are combined. However, you can see right here, this is going to look like absolute crap. These are going to turn into really ugly, nasty chunk borders. Now here's the thing, Minecraft works wonders for us. If we go ahead and delete some of these things that are already surrounding, that we haven't touched, it'll regenerating them, taking, like for instance, up here, the desert that's over here, and the water that's over here, if we just create some empty space in between these two chunks, it's going to try and transition for us. And just like that, that's what I call an ugly mess, but we'll see how it turns out. Now, upon going into my world, I was definitely scared. We'll see how this turns out. This could be a horrific mess. I mean, two worlds collide, only one survives. And right there, it's already... <laughs> that's, a, that's a chunk border and a half. Now, I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. This... This could be so much worse, like that's not bad. I'm in creative mode, you know, I could just come through and take it. Take it out, make it look natural. But the truth is, I know that I can regenerate this. I know I can delete that chunk right here that didn't generate quite the way I hoped, and I can just simply redo it. But look at for the most part, you know, it kind of, it kind of turned out sketchy in some places. But the hill was clear up here, the bottom of the ocean floor, clear down there. And it slightly sloped it a little bit. Now this world over here was made before Update Aquatic. So of course, we go down in the water, you can see the chunk border. You can see what chunks that are brand new that just generated. In fact, there's a brand new 1.20 Amethyst Geode that decided to spawn here. Now as you know, I can only see a top-down view on that MCA selector. So what I like to do is I like to take a really obscure color. Now we're in the middle of a desert. You're not going to see any blocks of pink anywhere else. And I'm going to go ahead and take a crap ton of pink and just kind of highlight this chunk. Creating a big streak where I just want to simply start over and say, if I delete this chunk, will it regenerate nicely with the existing terrain? And here's my other goal. I have a really cool build planned. I'm going to raise the water level of this entire area, of this entire lake after I combine these, which you'll see the time lapse of soon. However, 
it's still connected to a big old ocean. So I think I want to go ahead and turn, try and train these chunks into being something besides ocean. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now here we can see the worlds that I just combined. All the chunks that have generated in, and most importantly, my pink little stripe. So I'm going to take all these chunks right here and absolutely destroy them with a solid hammer. My hammer being the mouse, but hey. But right here, this is a beautiful ocean that I, I had cut out and then it decided to regenerate. But I want to close it off. So I deleted a huge portion of that area. On this side we have land, on this side we have land. Now that's great, if I let it be, here's what would happen. This whole area right through here would turn into water again, because right here would probably want to be the end of this little island right here, and over here the end of this island, making this big room in the middle just to be ocean, just like it was. Which is beautiful, that's great, but it's not quite what I want. I want these two bits of land to connect. I want to part the Red Sea and connect these two worlds. Now, I don't know, maybe call it houndyism or something, some sketchy thing that I'm going to do here. This is a temporary chunk of forest in the middle of where ocean or the coastline of this original would want to be. Now, my goal is it's going to take this chunk here and say, hey, forest, and this chunk right here, say, hey, forest, and connect it with more forest instead of trying to smooth it out to that coastline that it had once before. And I'm going to do that a few more times. And now... Over here, of course, it wants to be a savanna biome. I do the same thing, but this time with savanna chunk. So now it's going to try and maybe connect the dots. That's my hope anyway. I call it chunk retraining because it's like, ooh, what does it want to be? And then, you know, these are exact copies of existing chunks. So once it maybe tries and retrains itself, then I can go ahead and delete out the copied chunks. But let's see how it looks in game. Aha! So... Here we go, and this is, where, this is where some fun happens. So we definitely got no ocean through here. It worked. It no longer is, you know, trying to connect these two bits of ocean because of how much forest I scattered throughout here. But when I was pulling random chunks of savanna biome, I'm going to guess that uh, this poor lonely tree right here is an exact copy of, hmm, let me guess, this poor lonely tree right here. I can see the resemblance already. If I go ahead and turn on chunk borders, that looks like a pretty good match. So I took um, a chunk of savanna biome right here that was way too tall compared to the surrounding environment. But we are really starting to get there. Like this half, this half right here is beautiful and said, you know what, we're going to be friends and we're going to line up and look at that beautiful mountain slide. Now, I mean, you can obviously see the chunk border right here. It played nicely. The ground lined up. I mean, we have these random halves of trees. But you know what, I can live with that. They make flint and steel for a reason. But right here, it's like, hmm, beautiful edge of the cliff. But there it is. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it'll get me through the day. This is two entire bits of land connected but now that we have this little bit of water isolated it's time to do something fancy with it oh yeah we're raising the water level
And with that, that's it. That's that's how I combined my two worlds, and I was able to have a fun little build with it, and honestly, this was just kind of a one-off, but I, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, before doing all these sketchy things to my worlds, I had backups galore. Every time I changed, like, three chunks in a world, I had a backup of that world, so I was definitely safe with my worlds, to say the least, but this is a fun tool, a really cool tool. I'll link it in the description, but... And see you next time. Adios.